another video of the hand. I had uh, modified it so the fingers close all the way now. Um, they're still not exactly straight as you can see. But I also added a button so I can give it some more freedom of control. It'll close the hand and then if it's already closed it'll open it. This way I don't have to do that time based stuff and I'll, I'll show you holding it some um, a heavier object. This is um, about 560 grams so it's a little over a pound. It's a a full beer and glass bottle so it holds it pretty good just over two amps holding it like that um, the hard drive you see in the background is actually the weight stabilizing the actual hand itself because it's kind of heavy for it so uh, we'll release it it's back down to releasing it only takes about half an amp um, so it's got some power behind it and I just want to go ahead and uh, close it again We're gonna show you how close they are to completely come in closed. So I'm just going to move it over here real quick. It's not exactly perfect yet, but it's a lot better than it was the other day. So hopefully the thumb's still a little um, a little loose there. But hopefully um, maybe today or tomorrow I can have some more work. Um, just to show you guys if you're developers, I got an ammeter just to, like I said, test the um, the amperage, the whole circuit. I use an Arduino from a breadboard here. Um, this loose cable is the FTDI cable. That's what I use to program. When I hook up to the laptop, there's a little button. Real simple setup. Hard drives just as um, weight balance. And my power is coming from, since it takes so much power, an actual PC power supply. Uh, all I did was, if you don't know this tip already, just short out the green button, or the green line, which is the power button, to ground. Then I'll turn on the power supply. And then I just cut off a Molex connector, and um, there's the 12 volt lines. I took the 5 volt lines out, so that way I got good clean power, relatively cheaper than a normal bench power supply. So, hope you guys are still kind of entertained. I'm still pretty surprised at it, but more to come later. Again, thanks for watching.